I really wanted to be able to practice somewhere where I get to know the people and I actually feel like I can help them and I'm doing something. To me, to really be able to practice pharmacy as well as I can, I have to know the people and you need to know a little bit more about them than they come in and tell you their allergies and they leave. You know, you try and serve the community because they're part of you're part of the community and I've always tried to interact with people the way I would my family. So being recognized for doing what you feel is, you know, your duty and the way you should practice is, you know, very humbling and it's exciting. She's amazing. It is so nice to be able to work with somebody who actually knows you, knows your, everything about you almost because of what she does. At the same time, it makes it so much safer for all of us. Knows her job, knows her profession, and knows everybody on this island. Coming from a small town, we tend to get less services, even though a lot of times they're needed more and they'll be used more but it's always a challenge. So trying to find ways that make sense economically and finding ways to do it. Well, for the customers, we do a monthly newsletter. It's um, information aimed at the patient level. So I've done ones on billing information about, you know, check with pharma, Fair Pharmacare, you know, it's extended medicals and how things are changing, just your basic information that a lot of people don't know to help with that. You can't practice pharmacy to your full ability if you don't have um, a good working relationship with other healthcare professionals um, in your area um, because then it provides barriers to patient health. You'll find that she goes above and beyond, you know, whether that's calling people where other pharmacies wouldn't, um, following up maybe, and I think that that's something that you can find here on Quadro with Colleen where you might not find it elsewhere. You know, she was willing to take a little bit of risk, whether it be business-wise, financial-wise, to bring services to people who just aren't going to get it otherwise. We had found that Script Pro technology, which is a telepharmacy, and we set that up, and we've done that now for seven years. We've serviced them in telepharmacy. For areas we service that are even more a little remote than Quadra Island. There's a special computer there, the telepharmacy computer. They scan. And if it's the product that we put through on the computer, then it'll let them take a picture of it. And then it takes a picture of the label and then they'll phone us on a special link to check the medication. And then we check it against the prescription we have. And then we sign off on it and it releases it. So when the person comes, then we have like a video conferencing. Uh, we've got to even have a healthcare provider client relationship with them. So it's so nice that they can call us up and a few days later they get their pills sent over there to the medical clinic. We've seen it work. We've played with it enough. Colleen's streamlined it. It's just part of the pharmacy now. I think for me, um, if your clients are getting the best care they possibly can and they're having good outcomes and the doctors um, respect your opinion and believe that what you're doing is helpful, then I think that's excellence and care.